Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on how you can use your Elgato Wavelink software with a GoXLR or GoXLR Mini. So a lot of people are buying the Elgato Wave 1 or Wave 3 condenser microphone uh, that came out earlier this year. The reason for that is it's not only a really good sounding microphone, but it comes with some pretty unique software. Um, it's a software that routes and mixes your audio uh, directly into a stream broadcast. So essentially it is a GoXLR in software format. So there are two reasons why you'll probably be interested in this video. One is that you already have a GoXLR and you happen to come across an Elgato Wave 1 and Wave 3 in the past year um, and you want to combine both of those um, in your stream setup. The second one is that you're using a Wave 1 and Wave 3, but eventually you might want to upgrade to an XLR mic um, and with that you'll need an audio interface which many streamers suggest going with a GoXLR. But if you upgrade to a GoXLR, um, knowing what I will show you guys today, it's not exactly all lost if you decide to upgrade your mic and use an audio interface. As you will see here in Elgato's update notes, you'll see that they started supporting the GoXLR with their version 1.1.1. Um, so. As they stated, your precious GoXLR audio device icons will not be overridden, and Monitor Mix now displays the GoXLR system audio device as an output. So what does that mean? That means that you can use your GoXLR and Wavelink together um, and route all the audio from your Wavelink software and your computer into the GoXLR, which will then create a broadcast stream mix. And to do this, it's pretty simple. As long as you've updated your Wavelink software recently um, and you have downloaded all the GoXLR um, software as well so that you see the GoXLR inputs and outputs on your computer. Um, if you go to your monitor mix, uh, you can select any of the GoXLR mini outputs as your choice for the monitor mix. Now, what's the best way to set this up? Typically, I'd recommend starting with your GoXLR and looking at your faders and determining what faders you want to assign, what audio outputs, and what you want to prioritize on your three faders. So the GoXLR Mini does come pre-assigned. Um, obviously, you can change this in the software, but you'll see it. you have your mic, your chat, your music, and your system. So I've gone ahead and I've routed my mic, uh, my chat, and my music onto those three faders and pretty much all my other audio um, from my PC is being routed into my system fader. So from there what I've done is any audio that I want to fine tune in my stream or when I'm jumping from just using my PC to streaming I'm going to add onto my Wavelink software. So a great example of this um, would be my browser um, audio. So for my browser settings, um, when I'm just using my PC, of course, I wanna be able to pull up Internet Explorer, just kidding. I wanna be able to pull up Chrome and uh, go to YouTube, you know, watch a video, be able to hear the sound. But when I'm streaming, I'm very cautious of making sure there's no unexpected um, sounds coming from any software that I have running um, on my computer in the background because I don't have a dual PC setup for streaming. I stream on one PC. So how I do this is that, you know, when I am watching a YouTube video, I simply make sure that I can deselect my monitor mix. Uh, that way I can hear the audio. And then when I am streaming, I mute uh, the monitor mix and that way that audio is not going to get routed into my system audio on my GoXLR, which would eventually be routed into my stream broadcasts on Streamlabs. So this is absolutely the best of both worlds. You've got a physical device with physical faders, which I mean, once you start using physical faders, they're very hard to give up, but you've also got software that you can use in conjunction with your GoXLR that's going to give you a lot more control on additional audio sources that you're using on your PC uh, throughout the day and 
also in your stream. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I would just suggest making sure everything's updated, checking your monitor mix for the GoXLR outputs, and then just kind of mess around with how you want to set this up. One note is um, in order for the Wavelink software to work, you do have to have your Wave 1 or Wave 3 plugged in for the software to function. Um, so if you happen to be using another microphone, such as an XLR microphone, in your GoXLR, you will need to just have your Wave 1 or Wave 3 plugged into your computer by a USB. And then you'll just go into the software if you're not using that mic um, and make sure that you're muting it on your monitor mix and your stream mix. Um, so no audio is really leaving that interface at all. The mic is just serving a function to make sure that the uh, software is up and running. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Um, I also do stream on Twitch. You can find me at Just Peachy Streaming. There will be links in the description. And yeah, let me know if if this is something that you're using or you think will be useful for your stream.